here. This is uh, Andrew the Green Man, Farmer's Market On Demand. I'm here about to talk to homeboys with Jacob. He's going to give me some spicy sauces today. How's it going, Jacob? Good, man. How you doing? Pretty awesome, man. So give us your little rundown about how you got started and what this is all about. Oh, um, you know, I've been in the restaurant industry off and on for many years. Uh, I love to cook. My stepfather made uh, his own kind of pepper sauce from the islands, and he got me inspired, and I've just been taking around, and then one thing led to another, and then I'm here. So. People are just like, yo, this is good. You guys start selling it? Yeah, pretty much, pretty much. And then, you know, I would bring some into work, and then someone would steal it out of the office. So I'm like, all right, people are jacking it from me then. You know, maybe it's uh, good enough to sell. Oh, yeah. Yeah, see, I've been, I've been going by your booth and stuff being like, I really want to try it, but I know I gotta wait to have you on the show, you know, because I gotta I gotta stay authentic. I want I want people to see me trying it for the first time, you know. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Well, let's do it. Then. Let's get to it. Yeah. So, what what do you got for us today? Like, what's your what's your big number one seller? Like, everybody's favorite. Well, I have to say the original habanero. That's the one that kind of started it all. Uh, they're all habanero inspired, uh, different levels of heat. We focus on flavor of the prof uh, profile of the pepper before heat. So we want you to have a good, enjoyable heat that comes along with a lot of flavor. So. All right, yeah, that's cool. That's the way to do it. I mean, that's that's what the people want, right? Yeah, absolutely. You got to give them what they want. So go ahead and grab a spoon here. So, got my little spoon going on. This one right here, you're going to get the fruit of the habanero up front, and then the heat's going to build with this one. Really good in soups, stews, curries, Bloody Marys. Oh yeah. I love that. I love it when I can just feel it just everything just explodes with juice. Like I can barely talk cuz I'm so spitting everywhere. <laughs> That's a good thing, right? Oh yeah. So yeah, man, I mean, you can just throw that on some chips. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I love it. Yeah, that is good, man. It's not cuz some people they go way overboard with the hot sauce where it's like it feels like you're breathing fire. Which is not, there's no, you can't taste anything when that happens. Yeah, exactly. Like, we want to just help complement your, your favorite dishes. We don't want to take them over. Yeah, right on. Dude, that's awesome. So how much does a bottle of that stuff go for? Um, here at the market, we sell them for $7 a bottle, and then we do package deals. As you add on bottles, we give more discounts. All right, cool, man. And uh, is there any other places that you guys sell your stuff? Yeah, we're at uh, several places around the valley. Uh, Lucy's Healthy Marketplace down the street, The Orchard, uh, Phoenix Public Market, uh, DeSoto Central Market. There's, I know there's other ones I'm missing, but you just go to homeboyshabanero.com and they're all listed on there. So. Right on. Yeah, we're going to throw that up. Liz, if we can throw that. Um, wait, what was it again? Homeboyshabanero.com. Homeboyshabanero.com. Put that in the comments so people can just click the link, go check you out, find out where to buy. and Can they buy from the, on your website too? Yeah, absolutely. We ship as well. That's awesome. Cool. Um, and then, so what's your what's your next so best next favorite? I'll give you is our seasonal sauce. It's a ghost chili sauce. We only do it once a year. Uh, unlike most ghost chili sauces that are a powder and extract, we do uh, fresh ghost chili. So it's a really short season. That's why we do it once a year. So, so you're getting the fresh ones, and that's why you you want it fresh. You don't want to compromise that flavor. Yeah, absolutely. And. We use red and green jalapeno to help carry the flavor. Uh, ghost chili can be a little overwhelming by itself, so we just try to use a neutral pepper to kind of carry the flavor. Dude, that stuff is thick. Yeah, yeah, it's got a little body to it. Because we're using all fresh peppers, hand-selected, made by hand, poured by hand. Not bad, huh? Dude, yeah. that is really good. Holy cow. Oh, I'm loving it. I love that stuff. Good enough heat for you? Oh, yeah. yeah, it is. Look at Guys, you can see my eyebrows sweating, which is awesome. So yeah, this is something you want to add. Can you, you just throw this in like a chili, even, huh? If you're you're like you make a chili, you're like, damn, it's not spicy enough. Yeah, it's the fall butternut soup, chicken soup, just a little te teaspoon of that, just kind of give it that little zest to it. Yeah, I'm in love, man. You're you're my favorite hot sauce in the world now. I'm not joking. Nice. Like Appreciate you guys saw it. I'm not kidding. This is my favorite hot sauce ever. You Converted. did you win anything this year? Uh, yeah, we get new times. Uh, well, I'm sorry, uh, Phoenix Magazine, best hot sauce this year so far. So and You got to advertise that. Sure. Yeah, yeah, I know. We, we uh, <laughs> just trying to stay focused, you know. So, yeah, I try not to get wrapped up in all that too much. It's, uh, it's great, the, the support of the community. This actually started this market before we did any retail or anything. So it's been, uh, it's been a lot of fun to see everybody watch us grow and, you know, watch people grow and their kids. And, you know, it's, uh, it's just one of those things that's kind of cool. It's kind of like being at home here yeah man this place does feel like home they definitely made it home for us they gave us our own tent and they gave us our own banner 
Um, you got any events you're going to be at soon? Yeah, so November 12th and 13th will be at the first annual Arizona Hot Sauce Expo. It's going to be happening at Tempe Diablo. Someone like you that loves hot sauce, I definitely uh, would make it out to that. going to be a lot of great makers from all over the world. Uh, Reaper, Carolina Reaper, uh, chili eating contest, all kinds of fun stuff. Oh, dude, I got to get in that chili eating contest. Yeah, yeah you got to get in that. All right, have fun. Good luck. All right. Yeah, hey, man, you got some good stuff. You did a great job. We're going to probably have you on. I, got, I want to watch to try these again, so you're going to be on the show soon again. All right, yeah, I'll be here, man. All right, nice meeting you. Thank you. All right. Wow, guys, seriously. If you like flavor, you got to come see Homeboys. This is amazing. Don't let the habanero or ghost pepper scare you. Uh, it's really, like you said, it's all about flavor first and then the heat second. But this is definitely something that you can add to pretty much anything you're going to eat that you want to give a, you know, kick it up a notch.